guys, it's Jessie here. I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to talk about everything that I am watching, playing, reading, keeping myself busy with during quarantine. So I asked in my video last week where I shared my Amazon haul if anyone was interested in hearing about some of the things that I'm currently watching or reading and hearing me talk about some of my favorite things because I know that everyone is stuck at home right now. We're all looking for things to do to occupy our time. Quite a few of you actually said yes, you'd be interested in that. And so I have compiled a list of my all-time favorite TV shows, movies, video games, and books. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about it because I'm sure that... Um, some of you have seen a lot of these things. A lot of these things are older things, but I might have something new for you guys. So I just thought it would be fun to share this. Fun fact about me, I am a total nerd. I get super fandom-y. Um, I have been a member of message boards for my favorite books, um, online communities all about my favorite TV shows. I have written fan fiction. I have done fan art. Um... Yeah, I'm a bit of a nerd, so I totally geek out about talking about this sort of thing. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. So the bulk of this video is going to be about TV because I'm a total TV hound. I love TV. Much more so than movies, especially. Um, I love getting caught up in a story and having it arc over several weeks, months, years. I, I live for that sort of thing. So. Well, my list of movies is like this long on my little notebook here, which I'm going to refer to throughout the video. My list of TV shows is half the page and I had to make myself stop because I could sit here and talk for three hours just about my favorite TV shows. I'm going to try to keep it brief, just like a little mini synopsis maybe of each show or what I like about it. Um, and I would also love to hear from you guys. Tell me down below, what are your favorite books, movies, video games, TV shows, board games? What are you doing to keep yourself occupied during this time? I'd love, love, love it if you would share that with me. Alright, favorite TV. My all-time favorite TV show. The TV show that I will watch time and time again over and over. I own the DVDs, I watch it on streaming services, Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek was one of these teen dramas that was going on when I myself was a teen and I think that's why I like it so much. I related so much to some of the characters. I was totally head over heels in love with Pacey Witter who was played by Joshua Jackson on that show. I still to this day watch that show and am so impressed with his character, the character development, the arc that he went through. Um, he's my favorite character on the show. He actually reminds me quite a bit of my oldest son um, with some of the things that he's sort of gone through with his struggles um, in school and not always being the best student and being super confident in himself. but. He's just this huge-hearted boy, and he has these amazing relationships with people throughout that show, and I just love him. I love that show. It went on for six seasons. I believe it's on Netflix. Might be on Hulu. I should have done more research about where you can find and stream all of these different things, um, but I couldn't sit down and talk about my favorite TV shows without mentioning Dawson's Creek. It is phenomenal in my opinion. I might be a little bit jaded. It's not like the greatest TV in the world, but um, I hold a special place in my heart for that show and um, I watch it over and over again. My favorite ship on that show was Pacey and Joey, although I loved Pacey and Andy together too. Um, if you haven't seen the show, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Go watch. Highly recommend it. Some other shows that are sort of throwbacks from my childhood or teenage years that I absolutely love that you may or may not have seen, Boy Meets World, that's one of these sitcom, like teeny sitcoms that I love. Um, Corey and Topanga, 
even if you never watched Boy Meets World, you know who they are, I think. Um, they're so iconic. I love that show. It never fails to make me laugh and to make me cry. Highly recommend that one. Also from my sort of childhood era, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, I have a major crush on David Boreanaz still to this day. Um, there's a, a couple other shows that I've watched basically because he was in them and ended up falling in love with, like Bones I really, really liked a lot. That is a show about um, an anthropologist who works with the police to solve crimes. Um, that's a great show that stars, um, oh, what is her name? Emily Deschanel? Zoe Deschanel's sister. Um, I think I love that show, especially because David Boreanaz is in it. I don't know. I, I'm, I have a thing for him. Um, but taking it back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, that's one of these shows that was airing when I was younger that I watched religiously on TV. I loved it. I also love that movie that the show was based on. Um, it's phenomenal. It's all about a vampire slayer. I'm sure that you've heard of it. My favorite episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer is the musical episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. As a matter of fact, if there is a musical episode of a TV show, it's pretty much always going to be my favorite. I love musicals, which we'll talk about more when we get to movies. Um, also on my list here, we have One Tree Hill and Gilmore Girls. Um, I love teen, like, soapy dramas, I guess. Um, it's just the sort of thing that I really like. Um, I could sit here and talk about my favorite ships from these shows and my favorite couples and my favorite characters and character arcs and developments, but this would be like a 45 minute video. Seriously, I could talk about my favorite TV all day long. Um, also on this list, This Is Us. If you guys can sit through that show and not cry, then you have no heart, I swear. I cry every single episode of This Is Us. It's phenomenal. It's still airing. Um, I watch it typically on Hulu. Um, like the day after it airs, they put it on Hulu. And I am obsessed with that show. I love Kevin. He's my favorite. Um, I know everybody loves Randall, but I love Kevin. Um, so that is on here. What else? Oh, Lost. I never watched Lost when it aired. I know that it's a very polarizing show. You either loved it or you hated it. I know the ending was controversial. People were up in arms, were complaining that their questions didn't get answered, whatever it was. I know. People have feelings about Lost. I didn't watch it until years after it aired, and so I got to experience Lost in a way that made me completely fall in love with it. I've watched Lost probably a dozen times whenever I'm feeling like that style TV show and I don't really know what to watch I put on Lost. My family is known to walk in and roll their eyes because oh my god you're watching this again. I love it. Um, I can see why people got upset with it when it aired. You know you're waiting years for these answers and then you're not satisfied with the answers and were they making it up all along. I don't know, but streaming it and watching the episodes kind of back to back took away a lot of that frustration. I was able to find out what happens and what the answers were without waiting until next season. And I didn't have, you know, a ton of fan theories bouncing around because nobody's talking about that show anymore. But I could sit and talk about it for hours. I loved it. Sawyer is my favorite character on that show. I love him and his whole story. I love him with Juliet. Sorry if this is spoiling anything. I'm just gonna have to like put a disclaimer at the beginning. Spoiler alert because I can't not spoil the, the ships. I'm all about the relationships and um, character development, that sort of thing. All right, what else have I not talked about? Law and Order SVU. That's a phenomenal one to watch if you can handle the sort of like trigger warning. You know, it's a, it's a crime show and it's all about um, sex crimes and crimes against children. But I love the characters of that show. 
I love that I can re-watch it over and over. There's like 20 seasons of it, and so if you start at the beginning and you watch all the way to season 20 over the course of however long that would take, by the time you're done, if you were to go back and watch season one, you have forgotten everything because there's been so many episodes and they all blend together. Um, so I find that show a lot of fun to watch. I can't watch too many episodes of it at a time because some of it's just, you know, a little hard. It's crimes against children and that sort of thing. It's hard to um, stomach it sometimes, but I love it. Another show that's very hard to stomach and I can't watch too many episodes in a row is The Handmaid's Tale. That is a Hulu original. It is based on the book The Handmaid's Tale, which um, I'm going to talk about when I get to the books. It's one of my all-time favorite books and I really, really like the show. It's hard though. It's hard to stomach and think about these people. It's, it's like a dystopian type thing where um, the population is, women aren't having children, they're unable to have children, and so they use handmaids to try to have their children, only the handmaids don't volunteer, they're kind of forced, and it's very, um, it's hard to stomach, there's some torture and that sort of thing in there, so trigger warning if you watch it, but it's really good, it really makes you think, um, and sort of, it's just really good. Okay. Um, oh my god, you guys. I haven't even gone through half of the TV shows on this list. This could be a video in and of itself. And I thought about breaking it up into, you know, a different video for each of these categories. But I just wasn't sure how that would be... I don't think this video is going to be super popular. I don't think a ton of my subscribers are going to watch it. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to give a laundry list of the rest of the shows on this list. Um, like I said, I'll put in the description box where you can watch these shows, on which streaming service, if it's available. Um, I have Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, and Amazon Prime Video. I also have a couple of the, the cable streaming things, like, I don't know which one it is, it's... CBS or something my husband watches um, NCIS through there which is another one of my favorite shows love that so NCIS um, what else haven't I talked about Parenthood that is a show that I absolutely love I love the characters and the dynamic there how could I forget about Supernatural that's one of my all-time favorite shows those boys are so ridiculously attractive but that's not why I watch they're also amazing actors and um, I love the storylines. That sort of show really can suck me in. I feel like that's one of those shows that's gone on a little bit too long. They could have ended it by now without, like, ruining it. I feel like the... I mean, the, sh the episodes are still great, but they're just so far from what the show started as, in my opinion. I love, like, the first four seasons of Supernatural especially, but I've watched every single episode, and I love that show. Um, we talked about Lost... Degrassi The Next Generation. That's a Canadian show um, and it's another one of these kind of soapy teen dramas that I love. Grey's Anatomy of course. Um, one of my all-time favorites. Um, a lot of my favorite characters have left that show now but I still watch every single week even though they've done me dirty, killed off some of my favorite characters. I still watch. I still love it. Um, Sex in the City. That's one of these that Obviously, I can't watch when my children are around because it's not appropriate, but that's just one of these shows that I always go back to. Beverly Hills 90210 is another one that I can watch on repeat. Glee is, like, it's a terrible show in my opinion. Like, the, some of the storylines are ridiculous, but I love the music and the singing. Like I said, I love musicals. And um, Darren Criss is in that show, and he is my absolute favorite. I love him. I've been a huge fan of him since um, his Harry Potter musical days. I've met him several times. I He's my favorite. He's an amazing person and an amazing actor. Um, last couple of things. Monk is another one of these um, crime shows with a twist that I love. Friends, of course. 
and what I'm currently watching right now, I'm not really enjoying it that much to be honest. Everybody talks about New Girl and how great it is. I think it's kind of dumb. Maybe it gets better as you go along. Um, how I Met Your Mother was the same way. I started watching that and I haven't finished it because it hasn't really been my type of thing. Um, but those are the shows I'm currently watching right now. Leave me TV suggestions down below. Love to hear from you. All right, let's segue to books because we talked a little bit about some of the books under the TV category. Like I said, The Handmaid's Tale is one of my all-time favorite books. I read that when I was much younger and then again recently. I also just recently read the sequel to that um, and I liked that a lot as well. Um, the Harry Potter series, Always and Forever. I love those books. I have read that series of books probably a hundred times and I'm not being facetious. I can start on book one, read through book seven, and then immediately start over again. I never get tired of them. I was a very active member on a um, Harry Potter fan forum back in the day called Three Tasks. We did like role playing and stuff like it was hardcore. Um, I love Harry Potter. Not the biggest fan of the movies. I enjoy them. I like them, but they're so subpar to the books in my opinion. Um, the Hobbit has been my favorite book since I was 12 years old when I read it for the first time. Sorry you guys, I talked so much that my battery died so if the lighting or anything changed I had to sort of move things around and switch batteries out. Sorry about that. I was talking about my favorite books. Um, I started talking about The Hobbit I think before everything kind of crashed and burned. Um, I love that book. Not the biggest fan of the Lord of the Rings books, I'll be honest. Um, those stories kind of intersect a little bit. But The Hobbit is an amazing book. It's very well written. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Wasn't a big fan of the movie, again, but the book was amazing. Um, my other all-time favorite book is Little Women. Love it. Um, Joe March is like my favorite character of all time. I relate so much to her. Um, and then I love all of the like young adult books are my favorite personally. I love all of the like dystopian novels like The Hunger Games, Divergent. I loved both of those series and The Hunger Games prequel is actually due to land on my doorstep tomorrow. I cannot wait to read that. Um, I really like Divergent as well. I know that is um, a book series that's also very polarizing. Not a lot of people liked it. I loved it. I also loved the movies that actually got made. I know they didn't make them all, but those movie adaptations I actually really enjoyed. Typically, if I love a book, I don't like the movie adaptation as much because I feel like they leave so much out, but I actually think that Divergent did a really good job. Um, I also really love Shailene Woodley too, so that would be why. Um, so yeah, that sort of novel, like the dystopian novel, I love those, in case you couldn't tell. Also really love Twilight. I know that those are like the shittiest written books ever, but I don't care. I love them. I love the story and I love the movies as well. Um, also I love romance novels. Nora Roberts is my queen. I don't care. You can call me lame, whatever. I love those sort of novels. Stephen King, too. Anything that he has written, I have consumed and loved. Um, my favorite of Stephen King's story is The Langoliers. It is just a short story. Um, I can't remember exactly which book it is in, but I love that story. And I love the TV, like, movie that they did on that as well. Um, I think that's it. I could seriously, again, go on for 25, 35, 45 minutes talking about my favorite books. I love to read. I don't make enough time for it, but while we have nothing but time, I've been reading a lot more recently, and I would love to hear your book suggestions, so leave them down below. All right, let's talk about movies. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm not really a movie person. I think you need more than two or three hours to tell a good story. That's why I love books. That's why I love TV. But that being said, I have been known to watch a few movies and I do have some favorites. So I'll just talk about those really quick. Um, my personal favorite are like 
chick flicks, romantic comedies, that sort of thing. Um, I love 27 Dresses. I love um, like Pretty Woman, that kind of like love story. I don't get to watch a lot of those. Um, I live in a house full of boys. My husband and two sons pretty much always veto my suggestions when we pick movies. But when I am on my own and I have a glass of wine and I want to watch a movie, those are the kind of movies that I pick. Um, 10 Things I Hate About You is one of my all-time favorites. I love that movie. I don't care what you say. Also, I love musicals. Rent, The Phantom of the Opera, all of these movie musicals, Hairspray. I live for that sort of movie. I love it. I love singing. I was involved in choir in high school. Um, I just, I love musical theater, everything about it. I have only ever been able to see a couple of live shows, only one on Broadway in New York. I saw um, Hedwig and the Angry Inch when Darren Criss was starring in that, and it was amazing. But I've seen Rent kind of in local theater. I've seen Grease. They're just, I, I live for that sort of thing. I love it. Um, and then we have movies like The Green Mile, which is one of my all-time favorite Stephen King stories, Shawshank Redemption as well. I love those type of movies. And then when it comes to movies that I can kind of watch with my guys, because let's be real, they're not into chick flicks, um, we have been over the last year watching all of the Marvel movies in sort of chronological order. So I've been really enjoying that. We just watched um, Ant-Man and the Wasp, so that kind of tells you we're sort of towards the end now. We just have a few more movies to watch before I've seen them all. Really enjoying those. Also, we love the Jurassic Park movies, the originals, and the Jurassic World series that has happened. Um, I love that sort of thing. And I think that is everything on my list. No, it's not. My two favorite movies, totally different from each other. You can judge me if you want. The Notebook, which I failed to mention Nicholas Sparks' books when I talked about books, but I love everything he has written. Absolutely love it. The Notebook, though, love that movie. And Con Air. Yeah, I know. They're totally, like, different ends of the spectrum. I love Nicolas Cage in Con Air. I don't care what you say about that movie. I love it. If it's on TV, I'm gonna watch it. If I find it on a streaming service, I watch it. I've watched that movie probably a dozen times this year. I don't care. I love it. All right, that's it for movies. Lastly, we're gonna talk about video games. So if you're not into video games and you just want to end the video here, I completely understand. I know video games are not everyone's cup of tea. I love them, but I don't love them as a whole. I have my favorites. The Zelda series. I have played almost every single video game um, in the Legend of Zelda series. The only ones I haven't played are the handheld um, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. I played everything else and I love The Legend of Zelda. I would get a tattoo of the Triforce today if I could, but I can't because everything's closed. But I love that video game series. I love the story. I love Link. My favorites are Ocarina of Time, without question, um, and A Link to the Past, which Ocarina of Time was a Nintendo 64 game originally, I think, and A Link to the Past was Super Nintendo. Very different. One of them's 3D, one of them's like top-down style, but I love them both. I think the stories are amazing in those. Um, also really loved the handheld um, A Link Between Worlds. Love that. I wasn't the biggest fan of Breath of the Wild. I loved the graphics. I loved the story. Wasn't the biggest fan of the gameplay. Um, the breakable weapons I didn't like. I really missed the dungeons. Um, so, I mean, I love that game still. It's still a phenomenal game, but it's not like in my top favorites. Anyways, I love the Zelda series. I will continue to play every single game that comes out. 
I have been known to buy a console strictly for that game. Like, I would not have a Wii U if it wasn't for Zelda. Um, I haven't bought the Switch yet because I don't need it because I can play Breath of the Wild on my Wii U, but when they inevitably come out with a new title on a new platform, I'll buy that platform too. That console. Love it. Um, another one of my favorites is Final Fantasy. Not all of them though. I love Final Fantasy X. I know everyone loves 7. That was just remade or remastered and everybody was going nuts over it. I like that one okay, but my favorite is 10. I love the story. I love the characters. Some of it's a little cringy, but I don't care. I also love that turn-based style RPG game. Um, my all-time favorite video game is a video game that was released on the PlayStation. It's Legends of Ligaia. You've probably never heard of it. But if you can play it and you like turn-based RPG style games, give it a try. I love it. I love the story. I love the the battle commands and stuff. I love the way that it works. Highly recommend that game. Um, anything with Mario. I mean, Super Mario back in the day was my jam. I loved that. Also loved Lolo for the original PlayStation. I just recently bought that through the Nintendo store for my Wii U and I've been playing that with my kids and they love it too. It's sort of like a puzzle type game and it's so much fun. Um, and the games that I've been playing recently, Sims 4, both for PC and for PlayStation. Um, my husband or my son has a PlayStation 4 that he plays The Sims on and I typically play it on PC just because that's what I'm used to. I used to play The Sims 2 on my computer at home for hours and just recently got Sims 4 and I'm really loving it. I don't play it a ton but I do like having it as an option and the other game that I've been playing is Kingdom Hearts. I purchased the trio of games, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. They had a huge sale going on on the PlayStation Store and I purchased all three of them. I've been playing the original, which is my all-time favorite. I've never actually played the other two, so I guess I can't really say that Kingdom Hearts is my favorite because I haven't played the others. But I love the story, I love the, the animation and the gameplay. Love that. Alright you guys, that's everything. That's my favorite TV, movies, books, and video games. If you made it this far in this video, once again, you're a trooper. I guess I'm just a fan of long videos. I could have broken it up into four different videos, but like I said, I wasn't sure how well received this video would be, and I didn't want to post four different videos that nobody wanted to watch. So if you made it to the end, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you have never seen any of my videos, and this is the very first one, I hope that you will consider subscribing. I post this sort of chit chatty video a lot but I also post budgeting videos, grocery hauls, sort of lifestyle type videos and I would love to have you here on my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you've been watching, playing, and reading during quarantine. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm always looking for new suggestions. Um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna stop yammering now. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!